Hey guys, 2K3 here, and today we are tackling the second level of the game, Going Ape. Going Ape is significantly longer than the previous level and contains a number of obstacles. First off, it is important to mention that you should start holding right just after having the title screen of the level in question fade, since this makes you move instantly as the level loads in and can save you a few seconds over the course of the run. However, it might require some practice to get the timing right for this. Here we have these bush pigs that are RNG dependent. Now what you want to do is identify the movement of the first one. Again, this can take some practice, and try to jump over it. While the second one, you can stun with the fruit while falling off the ledge. This brings us to the first notable glitch of the game, the vine zip. To help with this, you can watch a tutorial I made for this glitch, which will be linked in the description, but we will explain it briefly here. What we are trying to do is grab the vine in question, then swing from the right side to the left, let go of the vine, then reach for it again and re-grab it. Timing varies between consoles, but once you get the hang of it, it's relatively easy to figure out how to become consistent with it. If done correctly, this should give you a significant speed boost, which depends on what height you grab the vine at. The lower, the better. In this situation, you should try going for the lowest zip possible, since it lets you reach the right side of the pick coming up, which saves you a lot of problems with enemy RNG. If you can't do it consistently though, a higher vine sip is still a good option, since the time save you get from it is still notable. After you get past these cats, there is a set of two vines you can grab. A low zip on the first vine brings you to the top path in this tree section, and a low zip on the second vine brings you to the jumping pad right before the bottom one. An issue about these zips is that they can corrupt the level, such as the first vine from the next set of two might be missing, which will cause difficulties as you have to make a big and precise jump in order to reach the second vine. The conditions of this corruption aren't clear yet, so you should be prepared for them if you do any zips on the two vines over the pits. Getting to the tree section and the aforementioned vines, which are also the last ones in this level, there is a zip you can do, but it's quite risky. Since there isn't as much you can gain from it as you can lose by ending up on the wrong path or by being farther away than you wanted to. You now have to go down the first hole in the branch, then do an animation cancel as you fall down from the tree. Take the top route, and now you'll be presented with a tree surfing part. After jumping once to clear the first obstacle, there are three monkeys whose alignment is determined by RNG, so there isn't a clear way to avoid them. But try to identify what lane they're on, and you might. After this, you have to do the following inputs in order to clear the section with no damage or slowdowns. Right, left, jump, right, jump, right, left, jump, left. You can watch the footage in the background for a better outlook on how to time your movement, but it shouldn't be too hard to learn it. Also in the tree surf sections, you might want to stay in the middle lane as in with no buttons pressed for as long as you can and only make changes to your position brief in order to minimize time loss. After this, do another animation cancel when jumping off the tree and you're done with the level. That concludes this episode of the Tarzan Any% Percent Guide. If you have any questions or anything else to talk about regarding the game, you can join our Discord server in the description. Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll see you there.